so guys this is our uh, another video and uh, in this video we will discuss about the course contents like uh, what we will discuss here and on previous video i have uh, uh, i have shared the detail like uh, what are all the steps in the avo sense and uh, here you can see in the introduction is there and in the in the on, uh, intro you can see the access operation uh, options and uh, this option we have already discussed like snmp power management auto discovery we have already discussed this so let me uh, show you like uh, what are all other things uh, we will discuss here uh, next we have the installation part and ac power dc power like uh, uh, the power management when you are uh, installing when you are mounting this device on the rack using the telnet or ssh how you will access it via cli via gui and another is accessing the console system via gui so when you want to access it via gui so make sure like your network connectivity should be okay right after that you can access the first time wizard and you can configure that if you are not comfortable uh, through CLI, you can also configure it via GUI. Some devices don't have the GUI, so if you want to take the CLI access, so you can access it via CLI. And um, uh, there is a command we will discuss the CLI command as well. As of now, let me uh, tell you like that is um, CD access, right? And after that ls you need to type the ls means to see the list of the network devices and next command will be the connect command via connect command you can connect to the device and it will ask for the credential either you can directly access on the console if you don't have the password right so <coughs> port detail event notification you guys are already aware about what are the meaning of this like snmp configuration port configuration means on which port we are connecting the device and uh, another is technical specifications zero touch provisioning boot configuration uh, retrieval recovering a console system password like all options are there I think there is no uh, upgrade and all but uh, sure we will discuss that and uh, migration as well we will discuss that so these things we have already discussed in our uh, previous videos and uh, let me show let me go through the uh, next topics which we have okay so these are the telnet SSH how we can access it and um, so when you will be access it, your, the first time wizard will be come and uh, if you want to configure according to you, you need to run the wiz command. Right. And uh, after wiz command, you need to type the static. If you are doing the static configuration, means um, uh, static IP address to access the device. Okay, guys. So this is our first time wizard screen you can see so there are a lot of options like uh, in the security profile uh, this profile change affecting http and https will terminate all http sessions so you can see here like uh, we we do this configuration like uh, uh, during the time of if we are get, getting any vulnerabilities and all like uh, the ssh version should be 1.2 and uh, either um, any latest one if we have and next is the HTTP TLS version should be uh, latest and um, these options uh, are the default like uh, based on the requirement you can do if you want to enable DS view okay so next we have the administrator, uh, administrator web UI screen. 
on this screen you can see the okay first of all we have the axis on the axis you can see like all the devices which are connected right now means uh, you have uh, you can see the configuration like uh, uh, here you can see the device name and the device is connected on which port it's a serial in use or not and serial view you can download this session as well okay using the uh, when you will click on the system tool system configuration is there event and logs you can see and uh, okay so upgrading firmware is also there and uh, if you want to upgrade like what will the step of why we upgrade it like um, uh, there is a two and three options like uh, we uh, generally upgrade our iOS first is um, uh, if there is no any patch like they uh, they upgrade uh, they uh, shared any uh, sub version for that you can see the minor version of that to remedy that issue and uh, if the version spot is getting end of life right so on that time we upgrade the de uh, device ios and uh, the latest ios is uh, for uh, 8k series it's uh, 2.14 version so another is you if um, you want to check it there is a, um, a web link so via uh, by that link you can you can check the latest ios and you can upgrade it okay so another is we can migrate as well if we are uh, running if our device is running on 600 series appliances and we want to upgrade it. We, right now, the 600 appliances are also getting end of life, means end of support. The aging is expired. So we uh, we can migrate it on the latest one. So what are the steps for that? We will discuss. And um, uh, two and three points I can tell you. First of all, you need to um, upgrade our current device on the latest iOS. And after that, you need to export export the um, uh, image means uh, uh, configuration and you need to import that configuration on the latest device make sure uh, both divided, uh, devices should be on the latest version so this is the steps uh, you can uh, upgrade it to upgrade the console system okay so these are the this is a link if we click on this link okay so this is a website and uh, on website you can see product information product sport download software and if consultant product registration means uh, if you want to register your product and you want to uh, log the case with ever sent so you can do uh, so well still have a this is a company like uh, they have the different different uh, devices here let me show you these are the product detail and uh, on main is to see the ios let me check it
okay so you can see <coughs> this is a path of direct path to download this product view product you can uh, click and you can see the all the latest product and uh, the evocent 8000 series get browser you can see all the details from this the components cpu memory interface power everything you can see here if you want to download this simply you need to click on the firmware and you can download release notes you can see the in the re release notes what are the latest features are there and uh, on which software you can access it you can see like mib is there and uh, as a, as a, as a sha algorithm you can see here and another is ds view you can also see you need to uh, the latest version is 214.4 release on 3rd may 2021 you need to click on this and it will be downloaded automatically okay so this will be your actual image which you need to uh, import on your device for the upgrade process so let's come on our topic main topic okay so there is a network connectivity network setting is there and uh, let me So these all are the about the topics which we have uh, uh, discussed so there is no any um, specific things here and all are about the theoretical part so let's jump on the lab like how we can configure it so about the basic setup let's type the evocent <coughs> 